I'm David Berlin with ZDNet. I'm coming to you from Mashup Camp in Silicon Valley. And sitting with me is Taylor McKnight. He is one of the original Mashup campers. And at the first Mashup Camp, you won the best Mashup contest for podbop.org. Very cool site. That's P-O-D-B-O-P.org. And uh, without going into too much detail about what that's about, you're back competing in the best mashup contest again. And the question is, is whatever you have as hot as what podbop.org is? I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. So why don't you tell me what it is you've got here? Okay. So this is Chime TV. We combine 10 of the top video sites from around the web into mm -hmm. one TV-like in-browser experience. Uh, there's nothing to install. It's all Flash or right in your browser. Mm -hmm. This is the home page. You come to this. You got the video in the middle. You got uh, 23 premium channels right here. So if you don't want to look for something, you can just click documentaries, music videos, science and nature. Okay, so like let me that. stop you right there. You said how many video sources in total? Ten. Ten video so sources. So those are, for example, um, like YouTube, Google Video, MySpace Video, Vio, um, Break.com, Blip.tv. Okay, so a bunch of video sources, and I'm looking at the different what you call premium channels here and they're organized more by subject matter than they are by one of those sources. So Correct. are you taking the content from those yeah. different sources and re-aggregating it as, let's say, a documentary or...? or yeah, okay. so, so our documentaries channel combines videos. We don't care what the source is. We just want you to have a good uh, video experience. Right. So, so in documentaries, you can find Google Video, MySpace Video, all kinds of things in one place. And in fact, you don't even know until... Do, do you ever know what yeah. the actual source yeah, is? Yeah, so um, every video has an icon next to it, and mm. when you click on that, um, we credit every source we use. I see. So when you click on Google Video, it actually takes you to the original source. But actually, until you click on it, so in other words, it's, it's kind of like looking at your cable box. Yeah. You're looking at stuff like the directory, the TV guide. You really don't know the source, or you're not focusing on what the source is. But once you pick it, you tell us who it's coming from. Right, exactly. Okay. Very cool. So now I see a bunch of icons going across the top here. What have we got uh, uh, over on the left? The so star. these are all kinds of options. You have the premium channels. You have favorite channels. So you can favorite ones you want to come back to, your friends and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, my channels is the area where you um, organize your things. Uh, build your own channel? Yep. Yeah, so your you own see channel. a bunch of content you like and you make it and you call it whatever you want it to call yeah, it. Yeah, so I, ha I, re I really like uh, cool short ads. Mm -hmm. So I have an ad channel where I you know, add my own advertisements. Mm -hmm. um, I have a movie trailer channel. Uh, there's also the video inbox, so you can send video mail to friends, and next time you log in, it says, hey, you have a video mail. So if I think you'd like a certain technology video, I can send it directly to you. So there's a little bit of identity in here, because you're talking about how you save stuff around your own exactly. personality, so you have to log in to use the site? Uh, no. I mean, all the, the, the extra features you can log in, but you can view any channel, you can watch videos, you can do searches, all without any user account. I got you. And then I see a couple other icons here. Vid, what is that for? Uh, that's just the video information. So this is the title of the video, the description. Grab some metadata there. Exactly. Okay. Um, this is how I send video mail. So if I want to send it to my co-founder, Chirag, I can send it right there. Can you send it to somebody who's outside or who doesn't have an ID on? Not currently. Okay. Yeah, you have to be a f user right now. Now, what about if I have a channel, like you were talking about, my own personal channel, can I put an RSS feed on that channel? Uh, or not can currently. You, can you Twitter me when you uh, add something to your channel? There's no really way to alert you for new videos yet, okay. but we're working on that okay, stuff. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, work in progress. And my, what's that? Uh, this is how I add a video to my channel. So mm -hmm. if I like this video, I can add it directly to my movie's trailer channel. Right. And then this is just my user account information. And how many videos per channel? Um, a hundred. A hundred videos, and who decides how they get in there? Uh, a bunch of them are user created. Mm -hmm. So, um, like for our technology channel, we have this guy Dave Kaufman who actually curates and finds cool technology related videos and adds them every day. So he's sort of the administrator of that channel. Exactly. And he's deciding which hundred videos are going to surface in the channel. Uh, do you pay him? Nope. Doing it out of the goodness of his heart? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, he's just passionate about technology. And are other people stepping up to fill in and be the curator for other channels? Yeah, I have other friends for, uh, that do the music videos mm -hmm. channel. Um, all kinds of things. And are you recruiting, looking for other people to get involved? Definitely. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. Anybody that's passionate about a certain topic, documentaries or science or anything, mm -hmm. we'd love to talk about. Awesome. Well, I, this is absolutely stunning. I, I'm going to have to sign up and use it myself. I've, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And so you're drawing on a bunch of uh, uh, channels or sources of video. Any other special APIs that you pull on in terms of mashing stuff up? Um, I mean, we use the YouTube API and the VO API, and then the rest of them are media RSS feeds. Okay, and do I need any plugins to make this work? Just Flash. Just Most Flash. Oh, the whole environment's built in Flash. Yep. So if YouTube works for you, then you're set. That's why it's so slick. Okay, and where can people go to see it? Chime.tv.
Well, there you go, Chime.tv. Very cool, very slick. I'm going to have to sign up myself. For ZDNet at the Computer History Museum in Silicon Valley, I'm David Berlin.